Barcelona is one of the most beautiful and well-known cities in the world. Today, we're going to show you around this gorgeous city packed with history and culture, not to mention fantastic food and vibrant nightlife. Whether you're a first-time visitor or have been before, we hope you'll find something new to discover in today's travel guide. Let's dive in. Number 11. Mount Tibidabo while wandering the streets of Barcelona, you've probably already noticed Mount Tibidabo without realizing it. As the tallest hill in the Serra de Colcerola, it offers stunning views of the city and the coastline beyond. A funicular transports you to the top of the hill with minimal effort. You'll be rewarded with an amusement park geared toward kids. You'll also discover the Sagrat Cor, a highly visible landmark sporting impressive murals. Number 10. Montjuic. Montjuic translates to Mount Jew and was named for the Jewish cemetery on the hill. It's not as tall as Mount Tibidabo, but it does offer the Montjuic Barcelona castle. It's a bit further out of the way, so you'll need to set aside some additional time to get there and back. You can access the top via bus, cable car, funicular, or by the power of your own feet. One of the most popular ways is to take the funicular up and then walk down to better enjoy the area. The castle dates back to 1640 and features the Magic Fountains, a three-level fountain with a light show. The first show starts at 8 p.m., so plan accordingly if you'd like to stick around for the magic. The show is set to a variety of music which can change the entire feel of the show. Number 9. Camp Now whether or not you're a football fan, visiting Camp Nou is well worth the effort. Tours allow one to get up close and personal with the pitch, player's bench, changing rooms, press area, the stands, and even a chapel. During your tour, you'll learn about the stadium's history, max capacity, and future plans for the stadium to unveil in 2025. There are a few different tours, so be sure to read the descriptions of each so you and your group can enjoy the things that are most interesting to you. Catching a match is on many fans' bucket lists, and if you time your visit with an event, getting tickets to enjoy the game day experience is highly recommended. Number 8. Barceloneta Beach this seaside district of Barcelona offers the best beaches and is a lovely neighborhood to wander at your leisure. The area was once a fisherman's village and has retained its quaint charm despite the throngs of visitors that descend each year. As one of the oldest beaches in the city, it has its own history and lore. It is said to have inspired one of Don Quixote's epic battles. You can explore Port Olympic, which was built to accommodate the 1992 Summer Olympics, or enjoy mouth-watering tapas at beachside restaurants. One of the most divisive buildings in the area is the recently built W Barcelona. It sits upon the shore shooting up from the horizon with a distinctive shape and offering a rooftop club perfect for dancing the night away. Number 7. La Boqueria Market If you want a snapshot of the local culture and cuisine, there's no better place than La Boqueria Market. Vendors offer local foods, flowers, and other artisan products for 12 hours daily, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Because this area attracts so much traffic, sellers can increase their prices a bit, so don't come here expecting a price break or haggling your way to a lower price point. The market is the perfect place to sample jamón ibérico, a world-famous ham from acorn-fed pigs. Avoid the rush by arriving when the market opens or late evening before closing and enjoy the sights, smells, and tastes of Barcelona. Number 6. Plaza de Catalunya This central square in Carbelona is the confluence of the old city and the new and acts as a popular meeting place for visitors and locals alike. You'll find department stores, large shopping centers, and a prominent water feature with an artwork display celebrating the city's combination of old and new. The plaza was initially opened in 1927 by King Alfonso XIII and used to lie outside the gates to the city. The square also offers several concerts throughout the year, so if you have a musical ear, it's a wonderful spot to enjoy talented musicians. Number 5 the Barcelona Cathedral. 
Another popular destination is the Barcelona Cathedral. Located in the heart of the city, it is one of Barcelona's most iconic landmarks. The Gothic-style cathedral was built in the 1300s and receives more than 1.5 million visitors each year. It is open to the public and is free to visit, but there are a few things you need to know before you go. First, you'll need to dress modestly. As an operational church, you'll need to not have exposed shoulders or knees. As with the market, visiting as soon as it opens offers an opportunity to avoid large crowds. You'll want to take your time exploring, as there are many eye-catching displays and artifacts. Ornate stained glass windows, cloisters, and dingy crypts await your discovery. Number 4. Casa Batlló If you're looking for history, culture, and architecture, you'll find all three at Casa Batlló, one of the most recognizable locations in Barcelona. A kaleidoscope of colors awaits you. The shimmering hues of iridescent blues, greens, and purples are reminiscent of opals, pearls, and other precious materials. The building was designed by Antony Gaudi and is located in the city's center. You can explore the grounds on your own or get a full tour with a guided experience. There are multiple rooms and courtyards to explore, and this eccentric building is an absolute must when in Barcelona. Number 3. La Rambla La Rambla is Barcelona's most famous thoroughfare. It stretches from the Christopher Columbus Monument to Port Vell. Along the street, you'll find a variety of things to do, including shopping at the many stalls and the La Bocaria Market, which was covered earlier in this video. You can't miss out on the beautiful tile mosaic on the ground along La Rambla. The eye-catching red, yellow, white, black, and red tones invite you to check out and walk on the art installation. The people watching is superb, but you might find yourself being observed by the numerous human statues and other street performers found on La Rambla. Number 2. Sagrada Familia Another architectural triumph by Antony Gaudi, construction started in the late 1800s and still hasn't been fully completed. It's the largest unfinished Catholic church in the world and was consecrated by Pope Benedict XVI in 2010, proclaiming it a minor basilica. It's recommended that you buy tickets in advance as lines can be out of control. You can also purchase an audio guide to learn about the history and architecture but still explore at your own pace. Security is relatively strict, so leave the large, cumbersome backpacks and duffel bags at home. Once inside, in addition to the main church, there are two on-site museums. One covers the history of the church, and the second is dedicated to the work and life of Antony Gaudi. A stunning garden surrounds the church, providing a beautiful, relaxing area to stroll. Number 1. Parc Güell Commissioned by Eusebi Güell and designed by Gaudi, Parc Güell celebrates Gaudi's unique artistry. Located on Carmel Hill, this is one of Barcelona's most heavily visited attractions. There are a few ways to get into the park. You can skip the lines if you're part of a more extensive Skip the Line guided tour, a classic guided tour, or timed entry tickets requiring some pre-planning. The park has two distinct zones. The monumental zone displays the most iconic works of Gaudi and accounts for less than 10% of the park. You'll find pieces like Ed Drac, the dragon, the Park Güell Stairway, and an imposing serpent fountain, among others. The Woodland Zone showcases the rich biodiversity of Barcelona and makes up the rest of the park. This section is free for everyone and does not require a ticket. Walking trails make it easy to wander the lush gardens. And that's a wrap on Barcelona. Did your favorite spot in the city make today's list? If not, let us know what we missed in the comments below. What's your favorite culinary delight while in Spain? Sound off in the comments and share your best travel tips or requests for where we should go next. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to let us know by leaving a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Ringing the bell will enable notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video drops. Until next time.